show you um, the power of Luna Snow. Um, this was actually the first time I scored over 350,000 on ABX. Um, mainly because Luna Snow has a type advantage over the Frost Beast. Um, so you have to be really careful with her skills because she kind of is a glass cannon. But um, yeah, just go ahead and uh, give her a try if you have it. A lot of people like to use Quicksilver. Quicksilver is another really, really good option. But I just wanted to show you the power of Luna Snow. The power of K-pop. The power of you and me. But in all seriousness, folks, Luna Snow really does a great job. Um, you definitely want to take advantage of her skill that has a uh, shield because you don't want to get hit. And that's something that I um, learned the first time I did this around. I was very dependent on that fit skill. And I'm actually thinking about giving her a little bit of cooldown just so I can have that. Um, so this skill right here, her fifth skill, gives her cooldown, gives her immunity. So you just want to go ahead and do that as soon as possible and just keep doing that anytime it refreshes. Because that's vital to this run. See right there, I almost got hit, but that shield protected me just in time. And um, definitely her eye frame moves when you're not um, in damage immunity. See right there, it's about to attack, and I'm just uh, playing a really good game so far. Just really kind of shielding at the right time. So he's about to hit me again, I can feel it coming. Shield. Yeah, it's great that some of her skills get instant cooldown. Like that one, I could have saved it for just a few seconds more, but it's alright. Big meteor coming. Okay. Now I don't like being here in the corner. It's kind of making me a little nervous. Very important that you use that fifth skill at the right time. And her one and two skills cool down instantly at certain times. So you definitely want to use those anytime they become available. Now the first time I did this I did have, I was doing more damage by this point. Uh, mainly because I was getting a lot of, of these skill cooldowns. And it's, you know, it's kind of based on RNG. This is about the time where Luna Snow was KO'd last time I played. But, uh, as long as you take advantage of that fifth skill and do it at the right time, you should be fine. Now, I might get over 400k here. And for me, that'll be a PB, so I'm really excited about that. Nice. There you have it, folks. Over 400k with Luna Snow. So she's really good. I highly recommend you raise her up because even at tier 1, um, I was able to clear Shadowland 20 with her solo. And a few people in my alliance have stated that um, during Alliance Conquest, she was able to take out a Dormammu at 5 star. A 6 star Dormammu at 5 star. So uh, she's pretty good, and if you haven't given her a chance, I would definitely consider uh, raising her up. Now I'll show you her stats. 
um, how I have her built up. She's not optimized by any means. Um, so it's very important to optimize characters at certain points. But um, I, uh, you know, have ignored defense, attack speed. I feel like attack speed is really important for her because when I first noticed her, I noticed that she was kind of sluggish. So I included attack speed and definitely the um, energy attack boost. So there you have it, folks. And I have Hawk's Eye, you know, as you can see, ISO 8 bonus isn't that high. All right, and an obelisk with cold damage, cold damage buff. So there you go. Definitely a, consider, a character I would consider having. And until next time, folks, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.